Okay, I'm at Jeff Lazar's house here in Westport. They're thinking about putting sod in here. So if you go with sod, you gotta leave the topsoil about an inch down. It doesn't look like they probably brought in topsoil yet because I'm just looking at this, this has not been screened. They might've brought in topsoil, but it not really finely screened. So from looking at this, it looks like you are gonna have to add, uh, you know, a couple inches of topsoil in this area to cover this whole area. So it's something else to think about as far as budget wise. Um, I talked about moving the trampoline to the corner, potentially transplanting some of these larger trees. Um, pool equipment's on that side of the house. Fence is going off that side. Fence has to stay off the wetlands. They're gonna have to landscape around the fence, around the wetlands. And then plantings along the uh, along the boulder wall to soften that. And then the fence is gonna be between the driveway and the boulder wall, so you have to landscape on both sides of the fence to soften the fence. Potentially bumping up this driveway another five or six feet to get more parking. Have to touch base with the engineer, make sure you know the distance we have to keep off the galleries, the septic galleries. Um, so it looks like you have two river birch that need to be transplanted. And you have a bunch of these grasses. The grasses, I would say about 95% will not survive because from my experience, when they're dug up like this and they're left above ground, they usually don't survive. So unfortunately, those are probably gone. I would just part ways with these uh, hollies here. You've got a couple, it's like five spirea that you might consider saving. You got one tree hydrangea, one magnolia tree back there, another dogwood tree over here, and then a couple boxwood that aren't in the best shape and they're kind of thin. So you might, again, you might part ways with those. And that looks like you got a little lilac tree, a dwarf Korean lilac tree over here that, that you probably want to transplant. Okay. Potentially, like we talked about putting some landscaping behind uh actually on this side of the uh stone wall kind of soften the wall okay and then obviously landscaping along the front of the house similar to samosa's house um you gotta i'll get rid of all the holly save this one rhododendron it's like four feet tall and there's one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen American boxwood. Some of these I would use around to block out the um, the pool equipment and whatnot. So you could repurpose some of these. Um, this tree hydrangea, oh, you're right, doesn't look too healthy. This one might have to go. You got a couple of zealies in here. You might transplant if those re if those are replanted somewhere else. We get more sun. They'll probably come back and there's a couple more azaleas over here. Existing, two existing fastigiate hornbeams on either corner, those will stay. All right. We talked about potentially extending the courtyard area to line up with the inside of that walkway, which was, uh, what was it? It was uh, 10 and a half feet off the house the stepping stones are now. All right, so you might potentially end up uh, putting in more of a solid walkway with a concrete base, bluestone walkway, with concrete base. These steps are about 10 feet wide. 
there's something you got to think about that as well as far as how that wants to connect to your steps the north side of the house so you get limited sunlight you can see the boxes are doing pretty well even though it's the north side of the house so that's it so i'll follow up with you and we'll take it from there thanks a lot